Greetings architecture students. In this video, you will learn how to use railings in Revit design software. Now this is also an Autodesk user certification video and the skills I teach will be addressed on the user certification test. Um, this channel's nor its content is sponsored by Autodesk in any way. I primarily do this on my own uh, and for my high school students. So if you wouldn't mind, if you'd put click on the like button below this video. That would actually help this video become more available, easier to find for other students who are looking for videos on Revit. Okay, so let's get started by opening a new project. Click on the new button, and we're going to choose the Imperial Architectural Template, and then click OK. Now, the first thing you want to do once the file loads is go up to the uh, Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on that, and then you're going to save it with your first name, underscore, and then the assignment name, which is Railings. Okay, now I've already done that, so it's going to tell me I've already got one. And I'm just going to click No. You're going to click Yes, though. That way it'll save it. All right, so uh, next thing we want to do is we want to start the floor tool, which is right here. And we're just going to use the generic 12 inch that's already loaded. And we're going to have to, since we don't have any walls to click on, we're going to click on the line tool and this draw a 30 by 50 or 50 by 30, I'm sorry. So 30 feet deep and 50 foot wide. And then we're going to, this last line, we're going to just draw up until it, um, until it matches the other line on the right side. Click. And then we're going to draw this line just 10 feet over. And we're going to leave it just like that. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to mirror this line over to this side. So I'm going to hit the escape button a couple of times. I'm going to click on that line. Hit the mirror draw axis tool. Find the center of this line. Oops, I thought, yeah, I do have the center. And then draw upwards and click. Okay, then we're going to hit escape to get out of that. Okay, now since we've got that, we want to put an arc between those two lines, this line and this line. So we're going to go to the arc tool right here, and we can just click on the end point of either one of those lines and then draw out in the other direction. Okay, and then we shape our arc. It does not matter how you shape your arc. Just shape it somehow and then click to release it. Okay, now click on the green check mark up here in the ribbon to end the floor tool. And then next, you're going to click on the railing tool, which is on the architecture tab. So architecture tab, railing tool. All right, and there's several things that you can set on the railing tool. Over here, we can turn chain on or off, which is really not going to be relevant to our design here. Uh, we're going to do offset, which we'll come back to that in a moment. And we can also click on radius. Um, and because we're using the draw tools over here, we really don't even need to worry about radius at all. So I'm just going to, right here in offset, I am going to set six inches for it to offset six inches. We don't put railings right there on the edge of any sort of platform or anything like that. They kind of have to be set back a little bit from the edge because we have to have somewhere to actually mount the, um, the railing. We have to mount it to the surface. All right, so also if you look over here, you'll see that there are several different choices of railings that are already ready to go and put together for you. There's also uh, other ways that you can edit this railing by going into edit type and getting a little bit deeper into how you edit this. However, I'm not going to do that right now. We're strictly going to go in and just put a railing in and that's it. Okay. So we're on our base level, level one, which is good. And we're going to start drawing this with that six inch offset. Now with that six inch offset, we must start from the right and draw to the left. So our offset will be in the right direction. And as we're drawing, we're going to use the lines of the shape itself of the uh, surface to guide our cursor. We're not going to use the offset line itself. So I'm going to go to the corner 
and I'm going to click. And now you can see the pink line being drawn. That is the offset line. So I don't want to try to guide that line, all right, because you can see it's, all, it's going to be offset from the cursor no matter what I do. Then I'm going to draw to this corner, and I'm going to click on this corner right here at the intersection between the arc and that horizontal line. I'm going to hit escape so I can go over to the other side and do the same thing. And I'm going to start at the corner this time of the arc and the horizontal line and then draw again in the same direction and then click on the corner here. Hit escape to get out of that. And then we're going to go back and select the arc tool. Now um, we want to start over here. So our offset again will be in the right location. I'm going to click and then we're just whoops I clicked in the wrong spot so if you click right here on the corner on the edge the end point of that line that's not going to be the right place to click because it's going to be off you have to click on the corner of the actual surface so click here and let's draw all the way across and then click again and then you can shape the arc now of course Revit knows or it looks for the closest shape to actually base itself on Okay, so it will actually snap into place once it is a, you know, proper radius. Then we hit the escape button. Of course, now we need to form the corners here and here and then here and here. Now our corners are formed. Next thing we do is hit the green check mark up here and we have railings. Of course, you really don't see a whole lot right now, but if you go over here and hit the 3D box, or the 3D tool, then you can see your railings in 3D. Okay, now you can see how and the reason why we do an offset, because we have to offset them. We can't mount them out here on the edge. We have to mount them up in here. So that is your railing. So stay tuned. I will have a future video on, um, you know, doing this, editing this with materials and things like that, uh, a little bit more in depth. But for now, this one will get you using your railings.